Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be diving into a little bit of the iOS 14 widgets side of stuff and just talking through a few of my favorite iOS applications. This is more of a ploy to get you towards a new channel that we've created uh, rather than a sort of traditional video we'll do on Keep Productive, but hopefully you enjoy it. Today's video is sponsored by ClickUp, so please do check them out. Here's a little bit more about them. So folks, this month here on Keep Productive is one of my highly recommended project management tools, and that is ClickUp. Now, ClickUp is one of the fastest growing productivity and project management platforms in the last two years, and it's only been around for two years. They already have millions of users and over 100,000 teams are using them at the world's best companies like Google, Airbnb, Uber, and Nike. Now, teams traditionally use spreadsheets, email, chat, and many project managers, but there's a big trend towards teams using just one application. Most teams replace three or more apps just by switching to ClickUp. So that process in itself, moving into one application, saves teams so much time. Now ClickUp has features like tasks, docs, and goals to keep organized in one place and have fewer meetings, emails, and daily switches between multiple applications. And it's perfect for all types of teams, from two to 2,000, and from farming projects to even building airplanes. On top of that, they have an extremely generous free forever plan. You can literally add unlimited users and unlimited work to their app for free. So guys, you can find out more about ClickUp below. I recommend checking them out. They also do have a Just Me plan if you wanted to switch to some of your own personal work too. So thanks again to ClickUp for sponsoring this month here on Keep Productive. So as you can imagine, uh, iOS 14 has changed the sort of homepage um, and I'm seeing some really cool uh, designs out there, especially with people that are weaving in the iconography from Widget Smith and also being able to sort of hone in on their productivity to some extent and making a little bit more um, collaborative. Uh, it's definitely a lot nicer. So this is my homepage at the moment. Um, I used Siri shortcuts a lot, so I was always pulling down from the top of the screen, but this new Apps Gallery is pretty awesome, and it's definitely something that has uh, changed the, I'm not changed the way that I use it, but definitely made it a lot easier to use, more as a, I guess the homepage is more as a, like, an attractive canvas, um, for sure. So I want to take you through how I designed the layout, and then we'll talk about apps like Todoist, um, Notion, and Huckleberry, and Xero as well. Um, Huckleberry is more for the new dads out there, or the dads that are, um, looking at like sort of managing, uh, I guess, like m like routines and stuff like that um, it's in sleep pattern. It's definitely quite an interesting app for sure. Um, as I said, not the expert in the dad sector yet, but uh, it's um, something that's really helped me at least. Um, so here we go. Let's dive into the widget side of stuff. So recently I got the calendar shortcut up in the top left hand corner. Uh, the main reason behind that is because I've reconnected my Google Calendar to that because apps like Woven um, don't have the iOS 14 shortcuts yet. And it actually comes in handy when you're using iMessages now because they have more suggestions and I can weave it into the calendar directly through there. So I'm still using that. I'm, I'm more accessing the calendar through the widget, but I still use uh, Woven as my um, go-to calendar source. So that's an application that I, I, I'm still pretty confidently using. And as you can see there, uh, you know, activating it uh, on the web and uh, also on Mac as well. Top right hand corner, I've only recently started adding screen time in there. Um, obviously, I've spent a lot of time on my phone anyway for work, sort of on Twitter and also emails and things like that. But I want to be able to be a bit more conscious of how I'm spending my time. And I guess if it's front and center, I may spend less on it. It may be more effective. Um, and then I've got this app called Zero. So Zero is basically a fasting application. Um, so basically it tracks your fasting. So for example, this morning, I think I finished the fast at that time. So I really didn't fast at all, uh, but it will give you sort of the 16-8 sort of fasting um, technique. And I've been using this to sort of track um, how well I've been doing in terms of like when I start a fast. Um, and that's been really helpful. But I've also been using it as sort of like a weight tracker as well. Um, so that's been quite helpful in terms of being able to see uh, that. But the time is really good. And the iOS widget is, iOS 14 widget is lovely. Um, it, it just looks really clean and 
keeps an eye on how long you've actually gone. Uh, I do need to do another 16 hour one because uh, that was a pretty weak effort uh, just there. Now I am using, uh, obviously Todoist goes in the bottom bar there. The main reason behind that is because Todoist is my most used application. So as you can see here, uh, everything comes in. But the one thing I'd say is I use the boards, um, but I really don't like them on iOS. Maybe it's not it's not something to do with Todoist, but it's just something to do with like how I use an application. Like I don't like being able to swipe through, and that's pretty much like why I didn't like the Trello application because I never got on with being able to use it on mobile. So in the majority of times, uh, I would like it if there was an option to like viewers list, but mobile edition, but I know that's quite a intricate thing to do, but I still keep everything in the list view uh, for the majority of the time anyway. The other thing as well as I've got is Notion. So for example, if I find an article that I like, I will go and, sorry, they changed this recently, go and share it and then scroll to Todoist and put it in but if it is, say that, that this is work related, I will put it inside of Notion. And I've recently built a inbox inside of Notion. So for example, in this case, I might say Zapier's um, tweaks, I oh, know, Zapier's announcement or something like this and press save. And then that's saved inside of the inbox and I can just start dumping stuff in here uh, which allows me to sort of process it for later and it embeds it there so you can see. So that's sort of uh, the major applications there. The one thing I've discovered, and I think I actually found it on a tweet, is this this idea of tapping the back of your screen. So if I tap it twice, that's just a light tap, it now brings up the control center. Um, I use a timer a lot, um, of course, uh, for being able to set bottle timers. And if I now press it three times or tap it three times, it takes a screenshot and that's really cool. So if people are curious about how that works and how you can access it, it's actually through accessibility. And then if you scroll to touch and down to the bottom to back tap, it's, you know, it's, it's a really helpful addition. So for example, I could set it to mute. I could maybe... Um, I'm not sure what shake is, um, but I could have Siri come on when I double tap. I could do volume up and volume down. Um, there's other stuff like um, assistive touch. But what I thought was pretty cool was that you could set up some shortcuts here. So maybe I could set up a shortcut. Okay, so let me test what I've just done uh, and then I'll explain it at the end. So basically, if I now go to share, copy link, and I double tap, it should have now added that to the read section. So inside of this back tap section, you can add shortcuts. So I went into shortcuts and I basically built this mini shortcut that says, if I add anything to the clipboard, it can automatically go into reads uh, whenever I double tap. So when I press done, and I went over and selected that inside of double tap, now if I go into say a tweet of like, so let's say this James Clear tweet, thanks for featuring it, and I don't necessarily have to go over to the Todoist there, I can literally press copy link and double tap there you go. So that's quite handy in terms of if you want to quickly clip a URL that's come in. You could probably make them more intricate and I'll probably definitely look into how to I can improve that. So this is more for the new dads, I guess, but this is Huckleberry and it's actually been a really cool application for me and my wife in terms of being able to organize, um, you know, for example, uh, managing feeds and managing sleep and being able to track stuff. Um, so I think I mentioned a little bit in uh, what's on my iPhone feature, but as you can see, you can track things like sleep, feed, diapers, temperature, and you can even do like things like breast feeding, pumps, medicine, and growth. But it's really cool because for little, little baby Otto, we can see his nap time. And up here in the top left-hand corner, it predicts when his next nap is going to be. So this is a three nap day and a four nap day. So he may be, if he's looking a little bit tired, it may be going for a four nap day. 
but then we can actually settle him down and put him down for a nap which causes a lot less problems later in the day it's also got the ability to see like his progress in terms of like how well he's done a list view of exactly what has been happening and things like average sleep times and uh, you can see there it's dramatically improved over time um, and as you can see you got feeding uh, how many times he feeds a day diaper and pumping which is quite cool so it's a really neat bit of sort of tech for um, new parents and I guess uh, parents that are looking to sort of try and work out when their sleep is uh, going to be occurring. Okay folks, so that was today's video. As I said, I wanted to make this more of a shorter feature, um, but something that will point you towards the other channel. Um, we're gonna be doing some more features there. And as you can imagine, uh, less of these sort of pieces over on this channel. So if you do wanna see more of this sort of stuff, some insights into how I'm using productivity or how other people are using productivity, feel free to join um, that channel over there. But a big thank you, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Thanks to ClickUp for sponsoring this video. Cheers, folks. Bye.